Hey, thanks for stopping by for another No BS Chat. Today we're talking about, well, posting frequency. The frequency you should post to your social media. You know, if you go back to, it may have been video one, I'll be honest with you, 90 some odd videos in, I can't remember if it's video one, two, two. in the first five videos, we, we talked about three things a day, just doing three things a day. And here I am almost 10 years into doing social media, and I still have a hard time getting all of my clients to do something three times a day. So for a lot of them, well, I guess the point's moot until you get up to even that standard. And to be honest with you, in the current climate of social media, I don't even know if three times a day is enough. To me, just getting started, getting into the repetition of doing something three times a day was important. But now, because social media has become so nuanced, each site has different needs, has a different feel, and more importantly, you have to find your rhythm. Well, what I find is, is for the people who we get past that three posts a day, we get into the, well, it's either too little content for their fans, friends, followers, as we talk, or it's too much. And the hard part is, is everybody's looking for, as my buddy Larry likes to say, we do custom fit suits. It's not like going into a store and just buying a suit off the rack and it fits perfectly. Social media, that doesn't exist anymore. Every site is unique, and more importantly, your fan base is unique in their needs, and it's ever-evolving. Just because your Facebook fan base now reacts one way doesn't mean as you add or subtract people, it's going to change. So you have to understand the nuances of what's going on. But what you more importantly have to do is understand the nuances of each social media site. Facebook, you know what? Two or three posts a day it is going to be fine. But don't just post and, and run away. I've got friends who I yell at all the time, and they do this professionally. They just go out and they, they post their feelings, they post their content, but then when people try to interact back with them, they, they never reply. They never get involved in the conversation. And that's a major mistake, as we've talked about. With Twitter, you could post you know, every couple of hours. Some people post once an hour, and it's fine, depending upon how big their fan base is. And because Twitter has got such a feed that just keeps con constantly moving, in the old days of Twitter, when there weren't as many people on and you didn't follow as many people, it was easy to go back and, and scroll through and see what you've missed over the last few hours. Now, if they're not seeing it in the timeline right then, scrolling back through how, how many ever their, their feed will let them go back, it, it's missed and it's lost. You know, YouTube, it's not like you can post content on YouTube each and every day, or maybe you can, much like these videos. I mean, I could do one every day, and I used to do uh, my Kev TV videos once a day, and it just got to be too much content. There just wasn't enough to talk about. There wasn't enough to do an entire video for, much like these. That's why we do them once a week. And sometimes, I'll be honest with you, we get down to that, I got to do a post for this week. What do I want to talk about? What's important enough to throw into a video? So if you can do something once a week on YouTube, well, maybe that's good and then you can promote it elsewhere. Instagram, again, it's a whole different concept. Um, I've got a couple of different Instagram feeds I just do for myself, and, and I'm still, here we are a year, year and a half in, and a good following on Instagram, still trying to find my rhythm. Find out if I do it too little, if I don't post something at least once a day. For me, with Instagram, at least one post a day, a minimum of one post a day, and usually two is good, three wouldn't be bad. I don't often get to three, I don't like to, because I don't have that much content, well, I feel that needs to get out there. So just making sure you understand, well, how much you need to put out there. That's a whole nother level. That may be, that may be you know, an intermediate level. That may be the next level beyond beginner. But you have to start thinking about that. You have to understand what your fans need, what they want, and then give it to them. So if you go back to, like I said again, in one of the first five videos, and we talked about just three touches a day, give them three somethings a day. If you're not even at that point, you better get with it. Because social media now, in, in well, no longer in its infancy, is getting more sophisticated. And now businesses are involved, and major corporations are involved, and they're making it even more sophisticated. They're putting out great content, which people want to share and pass along. If that means you know your touches are just sharing other people's content, so be it. You don't always have to create original content on your own. Don't, don't think of it that way. You don't always have to come up with something pithy to do, whether it's retweeting somebody, whether it's just having content out there, what, whatever it is, whether it's you know sharing something on Facebook. Again, that's a touch. Just understanding that sweet spot, whether it's too little or too much, that's what you really have to start thinking about now. We'll think about another No BS social media chat next week. Um, real simple to find. You can find us at nobssocial.com, intensitysocial.com. It's all the same page. Or also, too, of course, you can find them on YouTube. We post them on our Facebook page a week later. Whatever you need to get to this content, whatever works easiest for you, we want you to find it. And, and please, you're looking to touch something? Well, you can go ahead and share this online, too. Let's see you next week. Thanks.